What is up YouTube, my name is Aaron, and today we're going to talk about the future. I know it's scary, right? No one wants to talk about the future, but today, I do. So, as you guys know, the Xbox One S, PS4.5, Project Scorpio, and of course, the gaming computers of just next gen, the holy grail, what is it called? PC Master Race? Of course are getting into 4K and it's becoming cheaper and more readily available of output. Output 4K, well, I guess you couldn't say that because a monitor is output 4K, but from a device to have 4K out, if that makes sense, bear with me. It, it, there's a lot of words, there's science involved in this, there's a lot of things happening right now, but are we ready for 4K monitors? Is the price the lowest it's going to be, or are we ready for 4K gaming at all? It, it poses these questions because just because we can display 4K does not mean everyone's going to have a 4K monitor or a 4K TV. People are very slow to catch on to these things. I mean, there is an entire phase of TVs that I almost guarantee less than a quarter of you had and that was whenever plasma TVs were coming in the huge things that sat on the ground that had speakers built into the bottom some had cabinets built into the bottom just really big flat screen TVs that was a weird face next thing that we got was like hangables you could hang it on the wall and it was very thin I mean very thin for that time and you were able to get that right you were able to skip that phase and go straight into it. Now, 4K is very expensive. I'm not going to lie. 4K monitors, I mean, the cheapest that you can find that's good is right around $500. Now, I know you could go and just Amazon 4K monitor and probably find something for two or 300 bucks, but you need to look at that refresh rate. 60 FPS is good and dandy on a 1080p monitor, but on a 4K, you're looking for that 144 hertz sweet spot because... 60 hertz is never going to be 60 hertz you know you're going to get lower than that and on a 4k display you're going to be able to notice that so once you get up into those higher hertz of monitors the prices go up so like i said 500 dollars is pretty much the cheapest you can find and a good median is right around seven eight hundred dollars so are we ready should you go out today and buy a 4k monitor or tv i'm going to go ahead and say no. I mean, wait for it. We're not there yet. Unless you're like gaming on a $4,000 computer and you have three Titans in or four Titans in, I guess that would be more than that at that point. But you get what I'm saying. If you have the hardware to justify the purchase of a 4K monitor, I would say go ahead and get it. I don't think the world is ready for 4K yet because 1080p 60 is beautiful. At 4K, you're really pushing it. I mean, is, is it a big difference? Yes, it is. But the biggest difference is whenever game developers start taking hold of 4K. No Call of Duty that is coming out now Infinite Warfare is going to be true 4K. It, it could be, uh, I think it's 2160 or 216 something, 2K. <laughs> Bear with me, like I said, science and stuff. Maybe it might be at that standard, but the best we're looking at right now is 1080p 60. And even if Project Scorpio is a 4K gaming machine and you go and try to play other games, it's going to be upscaled 4K. I can almost guarantee you for the first like six months, there's probably going to be two true 4K games. And it's probably going to be like Forza or um, maybe Call of Duty hops on the bandwagon, but most of it's going to be upscaled. So save your money. Don't spend $500 on a 4K TV just to watch Netflix or something like that. It's not worth it. Stick with your 1080p 60. Trust me, those prices are going to go down. The demand for them is not quite there yet. Once that demand goes up, once the circulation of 4K monitors is more modern, that's when you can get it. I mean, of course, go ahead and get it now if you just want to be like, oh yeah, look at my 4K 3D display. Fine, do it. Do it, you know, show off, show off. Show that you got that 4K monitor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron. I know it was a weird video. We're playing Pokemon in the background. Very cool map. Very, very, very cool map. Peace.